Inocente, sean doenses, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. And I wanted to clarify because sometimes I always see this comment, I always find it funny, and I always want to say something. So I'd rather say something rather than nothing. I always see sometimes, you know, somebody say, I wonder what your mom thinks of this, you little cheese. Okay, well, first and foremost, I actually tell her the cheese man myself. <laughs> oh, oh, aside from that, it's actually funny when she tells our family members like when they ask like what i do my mom hits him with the he's a cheese muscle on through you <laughs> oh 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 i share my youtube with everybody you know what i'm saying i'm not embarrassed to be a cheese muscle loud and proud baby sorry about that but let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to crank why is trey always grabbing his huevos le pican <laughs> oh 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 mom get my nuts get my nuts Zubby. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first news that we have. I do apologize that my face is a little bit orangey. I put on an ice clay, by the way. Did you guys see with Miss Hilda this morning, really early in the morning, she had posted that her house was raided, you know what I'm saying? And as a matter of fact, they did a drive-by at her house, and this was super early in the morning. She had posted this. Mike. guys i'm right here at the la airport yes, with my boy sir. abel yes, what's up let us know what's to do what's to do what's the move oh, no, no. Oh. Ass. 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 ass lo que quieras haz lo que quieras haz lo que quieras Zubbing. Now, I don't know whoever tried doing this or what's going on through this crazy person's mind, but out of everybody, why hated that? If you got a problem with Jose Ochoa or, or whatever the case was, whatever it is, why do it when, when Hilda's there? Hilda's just trying to cook it up, have a good time, have some good vibes, positive vibes, and you guys are over here, you know, sending gunshots at her house. Now, luckily, I think everybody was okay to my knowledge, but it's kind of sad because you don't know what Hilda went through or her family at this time. And I was telling myself, you know, I always like to check where Jose Ochoa's at. I was checking up on Jose Ochoa, and I see that he's over here in LA. Nobody needs you in LA. Go back home. You got a thunderstorm. Go back to home to your family. You know what I'm saying? Your mom's over here stressing out, and you're over here trying to travel the damn world. Take your ass back home. Stop posting about Melody and be responsible. <laughs> But I really do pray for uh, Miss Hilda, you know what I'm saying? I hope that everything's okay for you and your family. My prayers go out to you. These type of situations are very stressful. And the next thing that we're actually going to get into, if you guys missed it, Bram T. C. Theft over on the Bram family with Lewis, the MLG player. Bram T. recently just got some surgery. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I feel like a lot of girls, you know, have this aspiration to go get their body, go get their GG, go get their cocodrilo, which is nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You got the money, go do whatever you want, your body, your choice. But the only recommendation I would have is just do your damn research, you know what I'm saying? See what you're going to get yourself into. You don't want to be this tartalada, and I'm going to go ahead and translate that. Basically, you don't want to be too far. At the end of the day, you want some jijida, but some jijida that are firme. And this happens to a lot of girls like Alondra Desi. She came out with the video saying how one of her hips are a little bit, you know, one's lifted in the other. And then uh, Jaylene Ojeda came out saying something with her face when she went to some other foreign country. And then Bram T basically... <laughs> I am getting another breast augmentation, which I'm so annoyed about. The reason I have to get it done is just because I am having a problem with one of my implants. So the point that I'm trying to make is, if you don't do your research or you don't know what you're getting yourself into, your Gigita can be a little off. And this isn't saying that the first surgeon that did brand T did a bad job, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, these things can happen with these type of surgeries, which is also why I'm telling you guys to be careful. But aside from that, update with Mr. Lewis and brand T. It appears that Lewis was in the video with Mimi at the end. Mike. <laughs> Very good. See? Very good, yeah. 
No, voy a probar, voy a probar con el. Langa, sí, la malanga de Cuba. ¿Es? Sí. El, el... If you arguing with someone, please be petty. Like you don't, you don't get a medal. You don't get anything for being the bigger person. So be as petty and childish as you can. But then uh, he actually posted this on his Instagram, taking a break from being on social media. Everyone, so sheesh, what could this mean? And it kind of looks like they weren't on the best terms, but he was still sitting there at the table. I think this was before the surgery, it kind of looks like, but I'm not too quite sure if somebody can confirm this was before or after. But it kind of looks like they're still there sitting next to each other. It's just a little strange because Lewis, before he changed the Instagram caption, he put, you know, this might be our last Valentine. And then now they're over here together. So maybe they're not on talking terms yet. But at the end of the day, he did show up in Mimi's video. I'm pretty sure he's going to show up in Bram T's video soon. And they're probably going to be back together in some videos. But make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think of that as well as be careful with surgeries if you end up getting some and trying to be like a cocodrilo and the next thing that i'm gonna get into with mr trey carter you guys have to remember i'm like a tmz type uh, hispanic drama channel you know what i'm saying so i get into everybody's business but aside from that it appears that trey carter now has a new fling a new boo thing now it's a little strange though because he put the girl's name on his bio you know what i'm saying kind of like a high school type thing like oh my love type thing and then you know the name there and then i see the young lady i'm not gonna put her instagram because she has a private account for a reason she wants to be private but it appears that she had that he has some sort of new boo thing oh yeah you silly goose you're so silly <laughs> now they both removed you know their names from each other's bio i'm not too quite sure i don't know if it's because people figured it out maybe they were harassing the young lady but i'm happy for mr trey carter that he's in a relationship maybe that's who he was looking for the other day when he was door dashing ding dong ding dong it could be he was looking for his new boo thing or he was doing door dash we're not too quite sure we really don't know we just we just got the confirmation it was mr trey carter and for the world news that i'm actually gonna get into did you guys see with Mr. Gordon Ramsay and somebody I love, Mr. Gilbertona, they were in the same presence, yeah, feel me, in one setting. My God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And if you look at Gilberton, Gilberton has said, She didn't give a flag in Dublin. Gilberton didn't give a flag in Dublin about no damn Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, feel me? Gordon Ramsay should have bowed down to Gilberton, as a matter of fact. But who do you guys think will win in a death battle type thing? Not really death battle, more like a, like a roasting competition. If it was a Gilberton versus Gordon Ramsay going at it, bing, 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 arguing, who do you think would win? Make sure to comment down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please be careful. My Texans out there, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of your guys' roof is collapsing. Uh, sorry about that. And I see Californians laughing. Okay, first and foremost, one little earthquake. I just want to let the California people know. One little earthquake. Goes by, baby. You guys are laughing at Texas for a thunderstorm, but we get an earthquake. Do you do, 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 do you understand me that we're gonna say goodbye by and you people that are in LA, all the hachitos, goodbye by especially. Bye, y'all better learn how to swim. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe because it really does help out this channel grow. You know what I'm saying? We're like a Spartan army. We need to keep growing and growing. Let's get closer to 125,000. Follow my Instagram and I I really do appreciate you guys. Hey, hey. Ah. Hey, you scared of the puppy. <laughs> hey, stop it. Mira, para los tienen can tienen la panza abierta. Come los cachos a la panza. Mira, la panza está abierta, al hígado. Ahí, mira, ahí está, ahí está abierto. Se le abre el hígado. ¡Ay! ¡Oh, my God! ¡Me acostó el güey de acá, eh!
I'ma kill it.